Hey, Bobby here from Coder Foundry. I want to bring an issue to your attention today. Um, and this has come from the, the register here. And it says a website was fined by the German court for leaking a visitor's IP address via Google Fonts. Now, a lot of us use Google Fonts all the time. In fact, it's that some 50 million sites use Google Fonts. And what we typically do is we add a CDN to our website and that will download the fonts as they're needed. And this is great because it does take load time off our site and transfers that load time to the Google CDN, which is pretty quick. The problem with it is, is that in order for Google to do this, they must get the end user's IP address. And if you don't notify the end user that you're collecting an IP address or a third party is, um, that can run you into trouble according to this German court. Now, if you're in the US, you're like, hey, I'm not worried about this. But let's, a lot of times these privacy things do travel over to our side and we have to figure out what to do. Now, we can hot link it with the ZDN and not worry about it, but what if you wanted to make sure you're in compliance with this? What would you do? Especially if you're over in Germany and you're trying to figure out like, hey, what do I do here? Well, what we need to do is run the fonts locally because the decision came down that the IP address being sent to Google is a violation of the user's privacy. So we need to run these fonts locally, all right? So what I wanna show you is a website here, and this is called the Google Web Font Helper here. Um, it's something that someone has created here, and you can put in a font here and download the font and the CSS rules for you to be able to, to push these um, fonts locally into your site, therefore making your site GDPR, GDPR compliant. So let's show you real quickly what we're going to build here. So I've got this website here, the perfect cup of tea, and it's got an image and it's got a, an H1 here an H2 here and some body text. Now, if you look closely, this text is just sans serif. There's no really um, anything special about it. It's built into the browser. But what if I want to use a, a, a traditional font pairing, something from um, Google that would look a lot better? And so I'm going to use a font parent called Montserrat and Railway. And so I'm going to come back over here to this site and I'll give you this link here in the description below. And I want to download the Montserrat font. I'm going to pick the ones that I want. So I'm going to get this um, 900 here or a bold version of this with the regular. And, um, and here I can get this CSS here that I'm going to use and I'm going to pull this into my site here. So I'm going to pull this into my site. So I'm going to go over to VS Code and we can look at this in VS Code here. And I'm just going to drop this right here in my style sheet. So I've got a style sheet already pushed in here. Um, now, right away, what I want you to notice is it's looking at this fonts director here where the font will be loaded. All right. And um, I've got a fonts folder here and you notice it's F-O-T-S. And so you can over here on this website, tell it what you want your prefix to be. That's really small there, but that says fonts. And what you can do is you can change this you want or just use the default and put fonts in your, uh, into your file. So I'm gonna download Montserrat and it's gonna download here. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab Railway too. So I'm gonna get Railway and it's R-L-E. And what I'm going to get is just the regular here. So I don't need anything else. You can get as many of these as you want. You can get them all if you want, but I'm just going to get the regular and that's a 400 weight. And I'm also going to grab this font face here as well. Copy that. I'm going to go back into VS code here and I'm going to drop it at the bottom here. Okay. So we've got railway here, Montserrat normal, and bold here. So one thing I want to add to these is this. I want to add font display to all of these and display. And we're going to give it the value of swap. And what this does is it'll take the default version of the font until this font face is downloaded. So if it takes a minute to download Montserrat, it'll show the built-in sans serif in our case. And so I'm going to add this to both or all three of these here. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and name this here and I'm going to call it Montserrat. 
and I'm going to say regular. And here, I'll go bold. And then in here, I'll just say railway regular. Okay, so now this is set up. Now notice here that it's got the different versions of all the fonts in here. And this is really important to note if you're going to run locally, you need to import all of the browsers. And so there's a different fonts for all different types of browsers here. Um, so you'll need to get all of these into your site here. So what we need to do is go look at our download folder here. And you can see here, I've got the um, monster rat. Let me go ahead and grab railway here. Let me grab that and download that. And so I've got them both in here and um, I'm going to extract them. I'll pull this over and just show you kind of how this works here. Um, I've got a railway, a zip file here. I'm going to extract these. And um, I'm going to leave that open. And then I'm going to extract this right here as well. Okay, so now we've got these two windows open. We can close this down. Close this down. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal these in Explorer here. And I've got the fonts folder here, and then I can just grab these. And I can pull these over in there, and I'll get rid of that window. And we'll pick up the railway window. Okay. So now, close these windows down. We can look in here, and so I've got all these fonts installed. So now they're installed running locally. They're referenced correctly with the fonts folder prefix that we put in here. So now all we need to do is now change our font here. And this is pretty easy. So um, I've got the body font here. And you can see in this body tag here, I've got this set to sans serif. And just to show you kind of like um, what it's going to look like so it's a little bit more readable, I'll change this to cursive. And you can see right away it puts a a really ugly cursive font in here. Maybe that's Comic Sans, not sure what that is. And um, what I want to do is I'm going to change this to Railway. Put a comma here. And now it's changed to Railway. And you can see Railway's got that really distinctive W here. And now I am going to change my body font. I'm going to do the same thing here, except I'm going to say Monst. S E R A T, comma, and it's got that real distinctive O. It's really circular O. So now my fonts are running locally and served up locally on on my website. So I can still do that, and I'm now um, compliant with any kind of privacy standard. They're not having to go out to Google CDN to get the IP address. So I just want to show you how to do that. Um, but if you need to run that locally, that's how you do it. So I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.